Every morning before the first sip of coffee or the first bite of breakfast, your body is standing at a biological crossroad. What you do in the first 30 minutes after waking either accelerates aging or actively reverses it. It can either cloud your mental clarity or ignite it. Most people reach for food or caffeine the moment they wake up, believing that nourishment or stimulation is the priority. But neuroscience shows something remarkable. Your brain and body operate on a deeply synchronized rhythm called the circadian system, and how you begin your day determines how effectively this system governs energy, focus, and cellular repair for the rest of the day. In fact, research from Stanford, Harvard, and the University of Basel demonstrates that a simple, deliberate action taken before breakfast can switch on genes that protect against cognitive decline, improve mitochondrial efficiency, and even slow biological aging markers like inflammation and oxidative stress. This habit is not a supplement or a medication. It is a behavioral signal that tells your body it is time to wake up, repair, and grow stronger. Here is why this matters. The brain consumes roughly 20% of the body's total energy, and the timing of when you activate certain neural pathways can drastically influence how well your neurons communicate, how efficiently glucose is used, and how resilient your cells are to stress. The morning window is your brain's metabolic ignition point. In this video, we will uncover what actually happens inside your brain and body before breakfast and why this one morning behavior can slow aging, enhance neuroplasticity, and dramatically elevate mood, focus, and motivation throughout the day. You will learn six key insights grounded in neuroscience and behavioral science that reveal how to prime your brain for growth, sharpen attention, and build the cellular environment that supports longevity. Because longevity is not just about living longer, it is about living sharper, calmer, and more engaged with life. And it begins with what you do before breakfast. The first and most overlooked step in reversing biological aging and supercharging your brain actually begins with something incredibly simple, water. When you wake up, your body is mildly dehydrated. During sleep, you lose water through breathing, sweating, and the natural detoxification process that occurs in your brain called the glymphatic system. This system acts like a nighttime cleaning crew, flushing out metabolic waste products that accumulate during the day, byproducts linked to neurodegeneration, poor focus, and mental fatigue. However, this cleansing process leaves your body's fluid reserves depleted by morning. Here is what the research shows. Even a mild 2% drop in hydration status can reduce attention span, working memory, and processing speed. A study published in Frontiers in Human Neuroscience found that hydration directly impacts the brain's electrical activity, especially in regions responsible for focus and emotional regulation. Another paper from the University of Connecticut revealed that dehydration increases cortisol, the body's primary stress hormone, even in the absence of external stress. So before breakfast, before caffeine, before any stimulation, the first signal you want to send to your body is hydration. Think of it as turning on the body's internal communication lines. Water acts as the medium for nearly every cellular reaction, especially those involved in energy production and DNA repair. A simple tool to apply is this. Upon waking, drink 350 to 500 milliliters of filtered water with a small pinch of sea salt or electrolytes. The sodium and minerals help the water move into your cells more effectively, restoring plasma volume and rebalancing hydration faster. Here is what happens when you do this consistently. Your blood viscosity decreases, improving oxygen delivery to the brain. Neuronal firing becomes more stable, and most importantly, your brain's alertness centers, particularly the locus coeruleus, which governs attention, activate naturally without the cortisol spike that comes from immediate caffeine intake. Have you ever noticed that after a glass of water, your thinking feels clearer and your body feels subtly more awake? That is not placebo, it is physiology. You are literally refueling the system that powers cognition. The second morning tool is not something you drink or eat, it is something you see. Exposing your eyes to natural light within the first 30 to 60 minutes after waking is one of the most powerful ways to reverse biological aging and sharpen brain performance. Here is why. Your body operates on a 24-hour biological rhythm known as the circadian clock. This internal timing system regulates nearly every process in your body, from hormone release and metabolism to mood and cognitive function. And the master clock, located in a small brain region called the suprachiasmatic nucleus, or SCN, takes its cues from light entering your eyes. When early morning sunlight reaches the retina, Specific cells called intrinsically photosensitive retinal ganglion cells send direct signals to the SCN. This signal does two critical things. 
First, it suppresses melatonin, the hormone that keeps you in a sleep state. Second, it triggers a healthy rise in cortisol and dopamine neurochemicals responsible for alertness, motivation, and focus. Research from Stanford University and the University of Colorado has shown that regular morning light exposure improves sleep quality, enhances daytime energy, and regulates mood by aligning the body's internal rhythms. People who get sunlight exposure within an hour of waking experience up to 50% better sleep efficiency and significantly higher dopamine receptor sensitivity. A simple protocol is this step outside within the first hour after waking before breakfast and get five to 10 minutes of direct sunlight exposure. Do not wear sunglasses during this time, but avoid staring directly at the sun. If it is cloudy, stay outside a few minutes longer because natural daylight is still far more powerful than indoor lighting. What happens in your brain is extraordinary. You essentially set your circadian clock for the day, telling every cell in your body that it is daytime. This synchronizes energy production, metabolism, and even gene expression linked to cellular repair and longevity. And here's the part most people miss. Getting morning light not only boosts energy now, but it also programs your brain to release melatonin earlier that evening, leading to deeper, more restorative sleep. That improved sleep in turn slows the aging of your brain and body over time. If this insight is helping you connect the dots between daily habits and deep biological transformation, consider subscribing. There is far more science-backed guidance coming that will help you understand and optimize every layer of your brain and body function. In the next part, we will look at how gentle movement before breakfast amplifies this entire system, activating powerful growth factors in the brain that enhance focus, memory, and long-term cognitive resilience. After you hydrate and expose your eyes to natural light, the next morning signal that can reverse aging and supercharge your brain is movement, specifically light to moderate movement before breakfast. Most people think of exercise as a calorie burning or muscle building activity, but at its core, movement is a neural activator. Each step, stretch, or controlled motion sends a cascade of sensory input to the brain, stimulating neural circuits responsible for balance, coordination, and alertness. This sensory activation wakes up your nervous system far more effectively than caffeine ever could. Here is what the research shows. A landmark study from the University of California, Irvine, found that even 10 minutes of light physical activity in the morning significantly boosts the production of brain-derived neurotrophic factor, or BDNF. Scientists often call this molecule fertilizer for the brain because it encourages the growth, maintenance, and survival of neurons, particularly in regions like the hippocampus, which governs memory and learning. BDNF also acts like an internal rejuvenation signal. It enhances mitochondrial efficiency, improves insulin sensitivity, and protects the brain from oxidative stress. The cellular rust that accelerates aging, another study published in Nature Neuroscience revealed that short bouts of movement can immediately enhance connectivity between brain regions involved in focus and memory consolidation. A simple tool to apply is this, before breakfast, engage in five to 15 minutes of gentle movement. This can be a brisk walk outdoors, light stretching, yoga, or even a few controlled body weight movements. The key is consistency, not intensity. The goal is to activate circulation, oxygenate the brain, and release a steady wave of BDNF to prime your mind for the day ahead. You may notice that after even a short walk, your thoughts feel clearer and your mood lifts slightly. That is because your brain is experiencing a real-time chemical shift. Dopamine and serotonin rise naturally. Blood flow increases to the prefrontal cortex, the part of your brain that governs planning, decision-making, and focus. The combination of hydration, sunlight, and movement before breakfast forms a powerful trifecta. You are rehydrating your cells, aligning your biological clock, and stimulating neural growth all before your first meal. In the next part, we will explore how slightly delaying breakfast extends these effects even further by activating the body's natural rejuvenation system, a process known as autophagy, which helps clear out damaged cells and keeps both the brain and body biologically young. Once your body is hydrated, your brain has received sunlight and your nervous system has been gently activated through movement, the next step is to not eat yet. This might sound counterintuitive, but delaying breakfast by even 30 to 60 minutes after waking can profoundly influence how your cells repair, regenerate, and age. Here is what the science shows. During sleep, your body shifts from digestion to restoration. It uses stored energy to repair DNA, remove damaged proteins, and recycle cellular components. This process, known as autophagy, literally translates to self-eating, but in a healthy way. It is the body's internal housekeeping system. 
clearing out old dysfunctional cells and replacing them with new efficient ones. However, the moment you eat, especially carbohydrates or protein, insulin levels rise, signaling your cells to stop autophagy and focus instead on growth and energy production. When you delay your first meal slightly, you extend this powerful rejuvenation window, allowing your cells more time to clear out debris and reset. A study from the Salk Institute and another from Harvard Medical School found that short, controlled fasting periods not only enhance autophagy, but also increase the production of ketone bodies, an alternative fuel for the brain that boosts mental clarity and supports the growth of new synaptic connections. These ketones also activate pathways linked to longevity, such as sirtuins and AMP-activated protein kinase AMPK, which play central roles in maintaining youthful metabolism. A simple protocol is this, after waking, hydrate, get sunlight, and move, but delay your first meal for at least 60 to 90 minutes. Use that time to engage in light activity, journaling, or focused work. When you do eat, break your fast with protein and healthy fats to stabilize blood sugar and maintain sustained energy. Many people report that once they begin this practice, they experience greater mental sharpness in the morning, more stable energy throughout the day, and a noticeable reduction in mid-afternoon fatigue. That is because they are allowing their biology to complete a full restoration cycle before shifting into feeding mode. If this perspective on how timing, not just nutrition, influences longevity and performance is resonating with you, consider subscribing. Every week we explore the intersection of neuroscience and everyday behavior, how simple, precise actions can rewire your biology for sharper focus, deeper calm, and lasting energy. In the next part, we will look at the mental side of this morning equation, how just a few minutes of deliberate breathwork or mindfulness before breakfast can balance your stress system, rewire your emotional control circuits, and strengthen your brain's ability to handle challenges with calm precision. At this stage of the morning, your body is awake, hydrated, and aligned with the rhythm of daylight. Now it is time to awaken something equally important, your mind's regulation system. Before breakfast, engaging in just a few minutes of breathwork or mindfulness can profoundly alter your brain chemistry, emotional stability, and overall resilience to stress. Here is what the research shows. The prefrontal cortex, the brain region responsible for focus, planning, and emotional control, relies on balanced input from the body's two main branches of the autonomic nervous system, the sympathetic which energizes and the parasympathetic which calms. When these systems are out of balance, you feel either anxious and overstimulated or sluggish and unfocused. Breathwork is one of the most direct ways to regulate this balance. Studies from Stanford University and the University of California, San Francisco show that cyclic sighing, a pattern of one deep inhale through the nose, followed by a second shorter inhale and a slow exhale through the mouth rapidly reduces anxiety and lowers cortisol within five minutes. This technique directly activates the vagus nerve, which signals the brain to shift toward calm and focused states. Here is a simple tool to apply. Before breakfast, sit comfortably, close your eyes, and perform five minutes of slow, deliberate breathing, inhaling deeply for about four seconds, pausing briefly, then exhaling for six seconds. Repeat this for several cycles. As you breathe, focus your attention on the physical sensation of the breath rather than your thoughts. Neuroscience research shows that this simple act increases prefrontal cortex activity and decreases reactivity in the amygdala, the brain's emotional alarm center. Over time, this practice rewires your brain to respond to challenges with greater clarity instead of impulsive stress reactions. You may notice that after a few minutes, your mind feels quieter, more centered, and your awareness sharper. That is the nervous system moving into what researchers call a coherent state, a physiological condition where heart rate, breathing, and brain waves synchronize for optimal function. When you practice this daily before eating, you train your brain to enter the day with controlled energy instead of reactive tension, and this single shift changes how you think, decide, and engage with others for the rest of the day. In the next part, we will bring everything together, hydration, sunlight, movement, fasting, and mindfulness into one cohesive morning ritual. You will learn how stacking these habits in sequence builds a lasting foundation for longevity, brain power, and emotional resilience. Now that you understand the individual power of each practice, hydration, sunlight, movement, fasting, and mindfulness, let us bring them together into one cohesive evidence-based morning ritual. When stacked correctly, these habits create a synergistic effect that amplifies cellular repair, neurochemical balance, and mental clarity for the entire day. Here is what happens when you follow this protocol in sequence. You begin with hydration, 
recharging the body's internal communication system. Electrolyte-rich water restores plasma volume and triggers the reactivation of metabolic enzymes that depend on fluid balance. This primes your brain for efficient signaling and oxygen delivery. Next, exposure to natural sunlight activates the suprachiasmatic nucleus, the brain's master clock, signaling every cell that it is daytime. This sets your circadian rhythm, synchronizes hormone release, and boosts dopamine and cortisol in balanced amounts, giving you motivation without anxiety. Then comes movement. Whether it is a 10-minute walk, stretching, or a brief mobility routine, this step floods your system with brain-derived neurotrophic factor, enhancing learning, memory, and neuroprotection. Blood flow increases, the prefrontal cortex becomes more active, and mitochondrial energy production ramps up. Following that, you delay breakfast, extending the fasting window to maintain autophagy and cellular rejuvenation. During this time, your body clears damaged proteins, improves insulin sensitivity, and releases ketone bodies that fuel mental sharpness. You are, in essence, performing biological maintenance work before you even eat. Finally, breathwork or mindfulness seals the process. It calms your nervous system, strengthens emotional regulation, and enhances neural connectivity between the prefrontal cortex and deeper brain regions. You enter the day not in a reactive state, but in a deliberate, grounded one. When practiced together, these steps do more than improve energy or focus. They retrain your circadian biology, improve gene expression, and strengthen the feedback loops that slow the biological aging process you are teaching your brain and body to operate with precision aligned, efficient, and resilient. What is remarkable is how little time this requires. In total, it can take as little as 15 to 20 minutes. But the effects compound better sleep at night, steadier energy throughout the day, sharper cognition, and a calmer emotional baseline. Every major field in longevity and neuroscience, from chronobiology to neuroendocrinology, points to one central truth, Health and youth are not simply inherited, they are signaled. The way you begin your morning sends the signal that defines how your brain and body age. In the final section, we will integrate these ideas into one clear reflection, a daily challenge to put this science into practice and begin rewiring your biology starting tomorrow morning. Reversing aging and enhancing brain performance is not about expensive supplements or complex biohacks. It is about sending the right biological signals at the right time. Every morning before breakfast, your body is listening to light, to movement, to hydration, and to the patterns of your breath. These are not small details. They are the levers of your circadian biology, the switches that tell your cells whether to age or renew, to store energy or create it, to react or to grow. Here is what the research makes clear. When you hydrate immediately after waking, you reactivate the communication channels between your neurons and organs. When you step into natural light, you reset your internal clock, optimizing hormones that regulate focus, metabolism, and sleep. When you move, you release brain-derived neurotrophic factor, sparking neuroplasticity and cellular vitality. When you delay breakfast, you extend the rejuvenation window of autophagy. And when you breathe deliberately, you master your nervous system, building calm focus instead of anxious momentum. Together, these five practices form a simple yet profound before breakfast protocol, one that harmonizes your brain, body, and hormones with the rhythm nature intended. You are not merely improving your morning, you are rewriting the instructions your biology follows for the rest of the day. The deeper reason behind this protocol is not just longevity, it is agency. To know that you can influence the way your genes express, the way your neurons grow, and the way your body repairs itself gives you control over your health at the most fundamental level. You are no longer a passive observer of aging. You are an active participant in renewal. So here is the challenge. Tomorrow morning, before breakfast, try it. Drink water with minerals. Step outside for sunlight. Move for a few minutes. Delay your first meal. Sit in silence and breathe. Then notice how your mind feels clear, alert, and calm. That is your biology responding to alignment. If this science-based approach to self-optimization resonates with you, consider liking this video, leaving a comment about what you noticed, and subscribing. This channel is dedicated to helping you master the neuroscience of longevity, focus, and emotional resilience so you can live sharper, stronger, and more fully each day.